Greetings and salutations. I'm Kevin from Little Man Muscle, and today I'm going to tell you which YouTube fitness influencers help me go from this guy to this guy. Please stick around. All right, so if you're anything like me, you may be uh, at one point in your life looking to lose some weight, maybe build some muscle, and you just you want to do it right, and you may not know exactly how to do it properly. So you might do exactly what I did. You hop on the YouTube and you start searching things like how to lose weight, how to lose fat, how to build muscle, how long does it take to lose fat, how long does it take to build muscle, so forth and so on. What you're going to discover is you're going to come across a lot of different fitness YouTubers who have all kinds of advice for you on how to accomplish what you're trying to do. Now, the vast majority I have found of the advice on YouTube from well-known uh, influencers, fitness influencers, is pretty sound. A lot of it did help me uh, lose a lot of fat and build some muscle. So who do you listen to though? Now, when you're on your fitness journey and you're seeking advice, who you watch is going to be a direct result of what goals you're trying to reach. If your goals are to just simply lose weight and fat, then there's YouTubers out there for that. If you want to build muscle, there's plenty of YouTubers out there for that. If you want to do both, there's YouTubers out there for that. If you want to do it naturally and just do it through natural diet and exercise, there are YouTubers out for that. And if you want to dwell, dive, dwell, whatever into that, crazy world of steroids, there's YouTubers out there for that. Now, if you're just an average guy like I was, and you're like, hey, I just want to lose some weight. I want to get this fat off my stomach. Maybe build up a little bit of muscle. There's plenty of YouTubers out there for that. Now, let me tell you one thing. The advice across the board is pretty much the same. It's a science. Losing weight, building muscle, it's, it's a science. I mean, you can listen to five, six different guys tell you the same exact thing. There is no, there's no magic to it. It's just a science. Diet and exercise. That is the main way you're going to achieve what you want to achieve as far as your fitness goals go. So who should you watch? I'm going to start off with probably the most popular fitness YouTuber that I have found. And the guy's name is Jeff Cavalier. And his channel is Athlean X. Now, this guy as far as I know, is a 100% natural bodybuilder. You can tell by his physique that he's he's probably not doing steroids. He's not crazy out there huge, but his advice is extremely sound. He, as far as I know, and don't quote me on this, I know he was some kind of sports trainer at one point, maybe the New York Jets football team or something of that nature, baseball players, I can't remember. But he knows what he's talking about, and he can go into very scientific terms regarding how to get fit, how to lose weight, how to build muscle, all these things. Athlean X, I think he's got like 13 million subscribers. He will tell you proper exercises, what muscle groups they work. He will tell you your diet, what you need to eat, how you should maintain your diet, um, what exercises you got to do to build this muscle group or that muscle group, proper form very scientific, um, very straightforward, to the point kind of guy. He's probably got, I would say, the all around, and I think a lot of people would agree with me, the most sound advice for natural bodybuilding that you're probably gonna find on YouTube. Now, another guy that I watched is also a natural bodybuilder. As far as I know, he tells, he claims, I, I think his, his achievements probably are natural, uh, would be Mario Tomic. This gentleman is very good, very precise, talking about diet, exercise, things he does on a day-to-day -day basis to maintain his natural bodybuilding physique. Now, the third channel that I watched, I don't know the YouTuber's name. It's the same guy each and every time, um, but I, I don't know his name. But the name of the channel is Gravity transformation. Now, I like gravity transformation. Uh, the guy who does the narration, excuse me, in the videos, very fit. And on top of that, very slick editing. You can tell that when this, this channel 
makes their videos, they put a lot of effort into the editing process to keep you interested. They use a lot of visuals, cuts from movies, cuts from different scenes, uh, graphics and everything. So you're constantly interested. You're not just watching some guy like me in front of the camera doing what he's doing, saying what he's saying. It's, it's, it's very uh, entertaining, I guess, to watch um, the editing that they do and the advice that he gives that I found is pretty sound. It is, it is the most sound. It helped me. I watched a lot of gravity transformation uh, in order to assist with my fat loss. And I would highly recommend the gravity transformation channel uh, if your goals are to lose weight and build muscle. Now, the fourth YouTuber that I watch is probably my favorite YouTuber, but it is not. Um, he gives great advice. I mean, everything that the guy says is spot on 100%. Uh, he touts calories in, calories out for weight loss. Uh, the guy is a previous IFBB pro. Uh, he has used steroids before. He openly admits that. He's currently on um, testosterone therapy or whatever they call that. Uh, so he's, he's, he's not natural. He is taking PEDs to a certain extent. I mean, the home hormone testosterone replacement therapy, whatever that is. He does that. He's, he's admitted that he was on steroids. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this guy up is because initially I just wanted to lose weight and build a little bit of muscle. But as I started getting more and more into the fitness YouTube realm, watching different fitness YouTubers, I stumbled across this YouTuber. His name's Greg Doucette. And I watch him now mainly for entertainment purposes. I lost the weight that I wanted to lose. I kept the weight off. I've built muscle. I've taken breaks and I've lost the muscle. I've built it back up, I've taken a break, and now I'm, I'm going through the process of building the muscle back up again. But strictly for, and his advice is great, don't get me wrong, I, everything he says is spot on, but strictly for entertainment purposes, I highly recommend Greg Doucette. It'll give you, if you watch Greg Doucette, you're going to get an idea as to the whole realm of this, this fitness YouTube, Instagram, TikTok culture <laughs> that's going on nowadays. I mean, he go he he goes into everything on how to how to do diet properly, how to exercise properly, but he also does a lot of videos on uh, whether other YouTubers or fitness influencers are natural or whether they're on steroids, and he gives his opinions and uh, he does it in a very he's. I think it's kind of funny. Some of the stuff is kind of funny. And uh, it's, it's just entertaining to me to watch his analysis of whether these fitness influencers are legit. A lot of the, a lot of, you're going to find a lot of fitness uh, YouTubers out there who are going to claim that they're natural, that they achieved their results naturally. But you look at them, and once you start knowing more about fitness and working out, if you don't already, you're going to be like, man, there's no way. There's no way this guy built all that muscle, has that physique from just diet and exercise. Greg Doucette's great, points all these things out, and I think he does it in a humorous fashion. So if you get to that point to where you want, you know, a little more into, a little idea into this weird realm of, of bodybuilding and fitness on uh, social media, I think Greg Doucette is a entertaining and knowledgeable uh, influencer to watch. Now, with all that said, these are the guys that that helped me, um, like I said, go from, I was uh, 190 pounds, almost 200 pounds. I went down to about 140. I lost about 50, 55 pounds of fat over an eight month time period. And I built up a little bit of muscle during that time period. Then I took a break, got back into it, built up even more muscle after 10 months, took a break. Now I'm getting back into it again. and. These are the guys that I watch. I still watch uh, a lot of them, all of them actually. I still watch them, entertainment, and just to, just to see what's going on and what maybe there's some different exercises that I don't know about. But these guys, in my opinion, are all highly knowledgeable. In addition to that, these are the guys and the things that I think you want to stay away from if you're on a fitness journey and you're kind of a newbie and you don't necessarily know enough about it. These, this, this is what you want to stay from, away from. There is a influencer out there named 
The Shred. Now I'll tell you, everybody who's anybody in YouTube fitness has totally decimated this V Shred, the guy. This V Shred guy, as far as I know, he's got ads on YouTube on how to lose fat, and how you, everybody's doing it wrong, and he's got all the answers. Buy his program, buy his program, get money, and he'll show you exactly how you could do it in, I don't know, like three months or something like that. So V Shred, if you, if you come across V Shred's video, I would say probably stay away from this guy. A popular opinion is that this guy is just a fraud and you don't want anything to do with it. Other things to think about when you're on your fitness journey, if you see any clickbaity type stuff and if the advice is actually telling you like, oh, you can have, you know, you can have a, you can have a gut that hangs down to your knees but I'll show you how to get six pack tabs in three days or a week or even a month. Stay away from that. That is not legit. It is not, there's no way that's going to happen. People are going to tell you, you can lose 50 to hundred pounds of fat in like a month. It's garbage. It's all, it's not. And if they give you like some kind of, or buy their plan and they'll tell you how to do it. Don't. The, these things are not going to happen. There's no magic pill to losing weight or building muscle. I mean, steroids. Muscle. But uh, aside from that, <laughs> there's no legal, at least in the USA, method uh, or a pill or anything that's going to help you achieve your fitness goals in a very short period of time. It's all going to take time. It's all going to take consistency. It's all going to take motivation. And you're going to have to diet. You're going to have to exercise continuously in order to achieve the results that you want to get. Do not listen to anything that is that is touting that you can achieve some kind of crazy result within a very short period of time. Now, that's all I got for this video. I just wanted to get something out there to let you guys know. Anybody who may be interested, who saw the, the changes that I went physically, my physique transformation, I wanted to let people know that, you know, I, I'm showing that as proof motivation for others that, hey, if I can do it, you can do it too. But I wanted to let others know, hey, these are the guys that I listen to to achieve my results. You don't want to listen to me. I know I'm a, I'm a little YouTuber. I'm small, I got like maybe 14 subscribers right now. But you can see that I actually made the changes. I am proof that if I did it, you can do it too. I wanted to share who I watched, the advice that I got from, in order to achieve the results that I got. I appreciate you guys watching. Click that like button if, it, uh, if you found this video helpful or entertaining. Please subscribe, there's gonna be more content fitness related in the future. Thanks for watching everybody. We will see you next time.